Welcome back to the sweater finishing series. All of our hems are done, and the last step is an applied I-cord border. So in order to do an applied I-cord, obviously you need your yarn, and you can use either a short circular needle or two double-pointed needles to make the I-cord. So in this case, I have a short circular. You can also do a couple different sizes of I-cord. I'm gonna do a slightly thicker one. So mine's gonna be a four stitch I-cord. So you just cast on, in this case, four stitches. And then to get ready to knit the next row of an I-cord, instead of turning your needle, you'll just slide the work to the other end. And pull the yarn from behind. Knit the first three stitches. Or in the case of a three stitch applied I-cord, you knit the first two stitches. Then, slip the last stitch. To attach it to the body, you pick up a stitch. In this case, it's between two stitches because I'm going up a column of stitches at the edge of between the steek and the body patterning. And then you slip the previously slipped stitch back on. And you knit the two together. See, now it's attached by one stitch. So then you slide your needle back through and repeat. You do one round of I cord for every row of knitting. So if you're going basically across the stitches, then you would have to look at your row and stitch gauge and figure out what sort of ratio you'd want to use, whether you pick up and make six I-cord rounds for every four stitches, or however you want to do that. You would just need to figure out what your row and stitch gauge is. So again, want to slip the last stitch, pick up a stitch, slip this one back, and knit them together, through the back loop. Basically, you just lather, rinse, repeat. So in this case, you can kind of see that the I-cord is standing away from the body a little bit. If you're actually doing this right on the edge of a garment, so you know if you have a selvage stitch and you're doing the I-cord in the selvage stitch, it's actually going to sort of roll over the edge of the body and create a really nice finished edge. In the case of this colorwork sweater, and pretty much any time you're, you're doing this not at the edge, you'll need some other form of finishing to get that edge to sit down. And in this case, it's going to be the clasps that will run across both sides, and that will finish it. So now I've finished my sweater. As you can see, the collar has been picked up, knit, and sewn down. My cuffs have been completely sewn down. And I've worked the I-cord along both sides of the front. I finished it off with some clasps and wove in the ends. Now I have my finished sweater.